All right, so this patch, there's going to be a lot of super close to Invincible Slayers. And I guess what I mean by that is if I look at this defensive Slayer setup, like the numbers on baseline Slayer builds is with, I think, Guard Skill Disabled is going to be really, really, really high. Like higher than we've ever seen as far as like mid end investment goes. But the one thing that a lot of Slayer builds are still struggling with is physical mitigation. And I think that this keystone, Strength of Blood, is going to be pretty underrated. So even though Slayer's sort of trademark is having a lot of overleach, um, this in combination with Brutal Fervor allows you to drop the overleach part of your leech and turn that into physical mitigation. So for a lot of people, you might think, well, that's like giving up maybe a huge amount of QOL. It would be actually a pretty significant defensive layer. But the reason why I think this is really valuable is... Firstly, I think a lot of skills, especially fast hitting ones, which will be the good skills this week, so like Molten Strike, Lightning Strike, um, that sort of thing, pretty much is actually just those two. You can just use Instant Leech and have that Instant Leech be really effective. Even if the per hit leech rate is relatively low, that does get scaled up. You have the um, total recovery per second leech for each individual leech rate. And then you also have a bunch of possible nodes to go for. If you're playing Claws, you can also get a second Instant Leech wheel. And technically, if you could go for Vault Pact as well, and then you could have your projectile leech um, applying for strength of blood, and then your melee leech doing instant leech. But I choose not to do this just in case full pact negatively impacts how you use life flasks. I think this is just probably going to preclude the use of life flasks. So, strength of blood, what it actually does, it turns my build, this is with guard skills down, all conditionals down, I believe, or like unrealistic things down. So, like, I have endurance charges because I have like three or four different sources of endurance charges for this build. I actually have permanent endurance charge uptime and hideout. It goes from 18.9k to 41,000. It more than doubles my PDR. And I think if you're playing a build with good avoidance or block, um, pretty good damage, and then good life gain on hit, and then good instant leech, Strength of Blood becomes an insane option. It also pairs really well um, just with offensive nodes around this area, right? Lethal Pride going for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, possibly 7, possibly 8, possibly 9 notables is really, really strong. It's, you know, what you used to run. And... Unlike bow builds, this lethal pride didn't get screwed over for claw builds. So in general, I think SOB is something people should be really considering, especially in their late game POVs as they approach that 100k max hit mark. If you're running block, if you're running avoidance, you won't really notice so much losing over leech, but you definitely will notice never taking damage again from physical damage. Now that's not just hits, that's DOS, that's bleeds, that's CB, that's everything. This is just a really strong keystone, and I think you'll start seeing a lot of it as we see later game POVs being developed. If you want to see this build, this Slayer, um, I'm not really going to make a league star for it. I do think this is probably the most efficient setup you can go for as far as like making a well-rounded HC viable um, Slayer build in the early game with pretty good damage. So I guess I'll link this POB, but this is not a league starter that I would recommend in the sense of I don't want to make a guide for it. There's a lot of other LS options, but I do think that generally if you know what you're doing, um, this might serve as some sort of inspiration. Even though it's really, really stock standard and pretty normal looking and kind of like it's got Yoke in here, which is a T17 drop. I do think this is the way that you should be looking to build Lightning Strike this patch, but, you know, 